What's up, comic fam? Comic fans, it's time for that new Comic Book Day Hall Plus review. So we're going to get into the books from this week. Plus, we got free Comic Book Day books, not 50 centers. And uh, we're going to get into all the books I got right after this. Spartans! What is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into the not quite 50 centers. These are the free comic book day books that I picked up that I think are interesting. So let's get into it. First off, we have Spider-Man and the Ultimate Universe number one, free comic book day. Hopefully you guys had an awesome free comic book day. If you wanna see everything I picked up on free comic book day, go check out the video I dropped, all right? Next up, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right. Then we got the new DC event, Absolute Power. So that should be an interesting read. Then we got Blood Hut number one. Kind of fills in the gap of what happens before Blood Hut number one, which came out this Wednesday, which is in this... <laughs> In this uh, pile here, and then we got Energon Universe 2024 special. All right, on top of that, there were some sales. Here's some books I picked up. You may remember this guy from the X Men '97 animated series if you've been watching it. This is X Men number 52. This is like the first cameo of Bastion. Appears in like two panels, I think. He's wearing a trench coat or something. And then X Men number 333 this is like the first full appearance of bastion right so that's from the uh x-men 97 series those books were actually from 96 <laughs> all right and if you haven't uh, checked it out yet and you want to find out a little bit more about things like absolute power and other things that are happening in dc universe you have the dc connect that's come out and if you want to find out more about the Marvel stuff, you have the previews for Marvel, including a whole thing on the new X-Men here. Some black and white. All right, let's get into the new books out this week. So first off, the only thing, so this is the fifth week, right? So in, in comics, there's comic book shops, there's usually four weeks and some months have the fifth week. And the fifth week is usually pretty, pretty low on books. It's usually a time that specials will come out, maybe annuals, things like that. I think DC has a little bit more hard time of filling those gaps than Marvel. Um, but it usually also happens right before free comic book day. So it's cool because I don't have to worry about reading a gazillion books and then getting to the comic book shop on Saturday. I could just play by ear. And so this week was pretty light. But anyway, out of DC, we have Superman House Brainiac Special number one. It's got, I, I believe, about three side stories. All of them kind of fill in some gaps of what's happening on, in or in the House of Brainiac. So this is like issue 2.5, I guess you could say. Uh, Action Comics had some House of Brainiac, right? And Superman at House of uh, Brainiac. So now this happens after those two. And there'll be some like offshoots, but this kind of fills in some stuff that's happening in there, all right? We find out about the Zarniacs, right? Lobo's um, home planet and what happened to those guys or what sort of kind of happened, but we're not quite sure what happened. There's still some, some gaps after you read that, all right? And then you got, you know, Perry from... Uh, the bugle the bugle <laughs> um from the planet daily planet um running for mayor and you know his, his how his campaign is going all right and then you got some other stuff happening in there you got the thoughts of brainiac you know kind of his his journal if you will in there so interesting book weapon x-men number three we got jane howlett's origin story the female wolverine in this book as well as some as well as some other stuff happening you have a lot of marvel zombie characters on here 
I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't really appear in this book, so don't grab this book expecting to have Marvel Zombies in here, if that's your thing. Except you do have the Marvel Zombie Wolverine in here. But what you do have is a story uh, uh, of love and a really sad origin story, which kind of happens with all these, these Wolverines. Wolverines, I guess, just don't have happy origin stories. Next up, we have the Immortal Thor number 10, right? And there's another Roxxon Thor in here. This issue, before I read it, I thought I might drop Thor. I was like, nah, this might be a good time to get off the Thor train. Then there was some stuff that happened in here, including Thor getting set up for murder. So, ooh, murder. Uh, so, we'll stick with it. At least issue 11. <laughs> and, and then if it goes wacky, too wacky for me, uh, maybe we'll get rid of it. Next up, we have the Incredible Hulk number 12. Nick Klein returns, so the artwork gets back on track, which is really cool. If you're into the occult and monsters and all that stuff, the Hulk might be the book for you, right? With Philip, Philip Kennedy Johnson writing it. Uh, you got the Hulk dealing with Dr. Voodoo right now, trying to save his friend who's trapped in a doll. So it's a, it's a really good story. Check it out. Now we have Deadpool, Wolverine, World War III. Not quite sure how I feel about this yet. A lot of setup. A lot of setup in this book. So we'll see where it goes, okay? Um, but you do get that classic Deadpool, Wolverine interaction. Wolverine maybe a little bit over the top in this book, all right? I know you don't like Wade, but come on. It could be a little nice. Just a little bit <laughs> and then last but not least from marvel and the books i picked up during the short week blood hunt number one dropped the big marvel event coming into the summer the spring into the summer event this was the red band so i opened up the bag so we'll we'll fold this bag up nice stick it in the uh in the bag with the comic all right Boom, we got that. Let me tell you, if you don't know, the Avengers are in trouble in this book. Vampires are no joke. And if you read the free comic book day book, then you know that even Dracula is not sanctioning this attack. And with that, we did get the classic Blade negative space variant. I put in this old bag and board because I didn't have an extra bag of board laying around. But I'll take it out. Ooh. And this is not the red band variant. So I'm, I'm interested. I didn't flip through this one yet. But I'm interested to see just how different it is. It does look significantly... Um, well, I, I will say not significantly different. But looks like a couple of the key moments... Yeah, a couple of the key moments are different and not as gruesome, but they're not overly gruesome in the red band. So we'll see. We'll, we'll keep comparing them. I mean, personally, I won't. I don't think I'm gonna show them on here unless you guys ask me to show you some of the different panels between the red band and the, and the regular. Um, but yeah, that's just a classic. Right, Blade right there. And Blade plays a big role in this story. Maybe on the next issue, I'll tell you how big of a role, all right? All right, comic fam, comic fans, that was my new comic book day haul, plus review. We got those new comic book day books in there. We skipped the 50 centers. I guess I could have done a few of them. This was a very short haul, but whatever. That means more next week, all right? So do what you do, I'm gonna do what I do. I'm gonna get ready for new comic book day this week. Deuces. Peace. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into it. Let's check out some of these books as I open up the laptop right here in front of me. And I'm just gonna use that quickly to, yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna work a laptop into the, into the show. <laughs> 